It's a nice office. Yeah. You don't expect something like this to happen here. Yeah, we're all still pretty shaken up about it. There are still so many unanswered questions in this case. You know, who killed Pat? Why? Where is this documentary going to be distributed? HBO? Netflix? How famous is this going to make me? You know, the, these are the questions that just fly around in my brain and it, it's, it, it's baffling. Pretty sure Trap killed Pat. That's, that's the real question, isn't it? The only way we can know for sure is to watch the show. What show? This one? The one we're making? Yeah, that's, that, yeah it's, it's, it's such a, a mystery, you know? I, I can already hear people saying, Oh, are you watching Trapped in Darkness? And then other people say, No, I've been meaning to. And then the, the first people say, It's crazy, you have to watch it. And then like six weeks later they watch it. And they agree, it's really good. Trap was getting into a lot of trouble right before Pat died. The serial one is especially weird since it's not something you can watch, but somehow Trap did. True crime is enjoying a lot of popularity right now, and I can't think of a better way to get the public's attention. For Pat. Oh yeah, of course, yes, for Pat. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, it was real terrible what happened to him. I made the 911 call, okay? And the police didn't do anything. 911, what is your emergency? My friend is, uh, oh God, uh, I think he's dead. Where are you? Right? And who did this? And will they get away with it? What's gonna happen? Does this sound like something you would watch? Sir, it is illegal to prank call 911. I'm hanging up. This is a miscarriage of justice. People are gonna love it. Just looking for justice. How is it that a young, talented comedian could just be forgotten? And also the Pat thing. So you were talking about yourself in the first part of this? Yeah, but, but then also Pat. Who do you think killed Pat? Um, I've only been working here like half a day, but Trap, definitely. Mike Trap killed Pat. Trap definitely killed Pat. It, it's obvious. I don't know why we're still pursuing it. You're, you're just stretching this out. That's what she's doing. She's just, she's just stretching it out. Don't linger on her. Was I stretching the story out? Clearly all the evidence is pointing to one answer. And yet, I don't know, I kind of felt like I should keep this going. Maybe the story wasn't about Pat or Trap. Instead, the story was about me. No, no, nah, no, the story is no, about Pat Notes editor Trapp. will cut after and me. Let's, no, let's, Sure, it seemed like Trap killed Pat, but maybe that was because I was withholding a key piece of evidence for dramatic effect. Maybe Mike Trap didn't do it. Next week on Trapped in Darkness, I find a clue from out of fucking nowhere that blows this case wide open. No way. <gasps> Please don't write me out of the show! Please! I'm important! Or was he? <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Bless you again. Thank you. <laughs> okay, enough already. You heard that? Oh yeah, these are just cosmetic. They make my head look thinner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shut up, Cynthia. We're on a deadline, so. I can't help it. <laughs> You're not getting any more of our blessings. Allergy, chop! <laughs> You're a complete distraction. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> One more and we get her. <gasps> Pineapple, pineapple, pineapple! It worked!
out, guys! <laughs> oh, you think you can just sneeze more than four times in an office? In our office? Friends, I've, I've stopped! I've stopped sneezing! We'll see about that. It won't stop her from sneezing, but it will be annoying for her. <laughs> Finish her. See you later. Oh, my eyes! How ironic! Oh, sorry. Who's there? I only hear laughter and sneezes from my office, and I haven't heard any laughter today. It's involuntary. One, two sneezes, sure. Three, four, frowned upon. After that, you're just a terrorist to goodwill and productivity. <laughs> Someone microwaving fish? Oh yeah, that was me. Sorry, guys. Get him. Hey, everybody. Uh, Sam Reich here, head of video for College Humor. I don't normally appear in front of the camera, but given the recent deaths of some of our cast and crew, it felt important to try to find some official way to say goodbye. So, I now present to you an in memoriam. Please enjoy, if you can. I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test To train them is my cause I will travel across the land Searching far and wide Each Pokemon to understand The power that's inside Pokemon, it's you and me. I know it's my destiny. Pokemon, oh, you're my best friend in a world we must defend. Pokemon, our hearts so true. Our courage will pull us through. You teach me and I'll teach you Pokemon Gotta catch a Gotta catch a Gotta catch a Catch a mole. Gotta catch a mole. Gotta catch a mole. Gotta catch a mole. They will be dearly missed. A Bulbasaur? Guys, a Bulbasaur! Everyone's dead. I remembered it as soon as I said it. Hey! Hey! What are you doing here? No, I just, I'm going for a walk. It's so funny running into you. I know, I never run into people I know. Yeah. Siobhan? Oh, hey guys. Hey. Siobhan! Hey! hey. hey. Hanging? No, we just ran into each other. And now we ran into you. Yeah, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> it's really crazy. I know. Yeah. What do we do now? Do we they hang out or something? Yeah, I get Cynthia. What? Oh, hey. 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 How does this keep happening? <laughs> What's going on? I was just gonna oh, go just check gonna on where I buried Pat's body, and, and then I just ran into Zach and Siobhan. Cool. Uh, 
something's off, right? Hey! <laughs> Look at this! Isn't this a fun? Oh, this is a fun. fun. This is this is wild. You know? Something's wrong. I, this would never keep happening. Shane! Shane, 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 It's like someone is setting something up. Zach, it's me, your freshman year roommate. And me, your sophomore year roommate. No, we gotta get out of here. Hey, Zach, it's all your friends. Wow. So it's like people you specifically know? This is all wrong. Zach, is that your parents? No, 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 to show us? Shouldn't we be looking for Pat? We are. Siobhan can help us. How? She's just sitting there. Siobhan, do you know where Pat is? Pat. Pat. Wait a minute. What year is it? What are you talking about, you dork? It's 1983. It says so in the intro. Yeah, but these D&D figurines weren't manufactured until 1984. Are you saying we time traveled? I, I don't know what I'm saying. It, something isn't right. Who cares? Let's focus on finding Pat. What's going on? trying to communicate with us. Whoa. Wait, this is a clip from the movie The Thing, which didn't come out on VHS until 1984. Seriously? Then maybe it's 1984. Sure. No, because All the Right Moves just came out in theaters, which is definitely from 1983. Seriously, man, it's fine. It's 80s, it's fun. Don't nitpick it, it's close enough. Just focus on what's important. Finding Pat! Siobhan? Zach? It's Pat! Wait! This is a TRC-214. This walkie-talkie wasn't released until 1985. Seriously? What does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. It's just a really small anachronism. Or maybe we punched a hole through the space-time continuum. <sighs> no, 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 think about it. Would you really be excited to get an Atari for Christmas? Sure. No, these came out six years ago. That's late 70s. If it were really 1983, you'd want a Commodore 64. I guess. <laughs> Thank you! Yes, good point. Oh no, crap! He must have been attacked! He needs CPR. Give him 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths. Oh wait, before 2005, the standard was 15 chest compressions. Start now. Just start any of them. So, there's a tower, and it's on its side, uh, like a bridge, and it's underground, and people go through it. And when they come out, they're in a furniture store, and there's a, a salesman, or a doctor. Okay, sorry. Your idea is to prank people with a tunnel that always goes to furniture stores? They don't know what kind of store it is. They all think that they're in a, in a hospital. Okay, great. Shut up. Sorry. Um, okay, so apparently someone has started an at Rogue CH Rider Twitter account, and they're tweeting out inside information about the company. Moments ago, Grant pitches another failure of an idea. No one knows what's happening anymore. There are couches everywhere in the store, uh, so And they... from 30 minutes ago, Katie is bringing her lunch to work. She thinks the snacks here are bad. It's a fiasco here. What is the picture? I just like bringing my lunch, and I don't love the snacks. It's not a big deal. Well, I would hope that whoever is doing this would feel comfortable airing their complaints out in the open instead of tweeting behind people's backs. I mean, it's pretty sensationalist, and frankly, I don't see that it's helping any. 
thing. Okay, another tweet from just now. Still really hung up on that Grant idea. A magic tunnel to furniture? College humor is a sinking ship. I'm not explaining myself well. Zach, is it you? Yeah, what are you doing? Why is your thumb so busy? Okay, again, one from right now. The brass is cracking down. Have to lay low for a bit. Not sure when I can come back. Okay, Zach, just stop, all right? This isn't news. Nobody cares about us. Okay, another one. King shit telling us what we can and can't tell the public about. Bombs are raining down. I'm brave for reporting this. What does king shit mean? There are couches everywhere. Shut the fuck up! What does king shit mean? Climate change is real. This place is stuck in the past. Zach, why are you tweeting about climate change? Told to halt any comment on climate change. Wow, we are officially going backwards. Okay, that's not what I meant. Trap murdered Pat. This place is a nightmare. Okay, that's old news! That's old news, everyone, and it was never proven. Trap, you I, seem really nervous. I, I probably didn't kill Pat. Why do you say Th probably? There's, I didn't kill Pat, probably, okay, is what I'm saying. You gotta get better at answering No, this. it's- stop spreading rumors! Rumors about these things, okay? It's just, you know, one more tweet out of you, and you're fired. So, how's that treat everyone? <sighs> okay, now, um, we can get back to- Zach, I swear to God, if this is... No, it's another Rogue CH writer's account? And they're going live. Everything here is crazy. Grant has good ideas, but people don't listen. Furniture is very funny. Grant! Let me defend myself. Grant's a moron. This place is burning to the ground. Zach, get out. Bye, losers. <laughs> So we're agreed. Trap definitely killed Pat, and we need to call the police. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, what you talking about? Nothing. Yeah, just boring stuff. Wait a minute. How tall is Grant? What do you mean? How tall are you? Like, I feel like if I look at you like this, I can tell that you're clearly taller than everyone else, but sometimes I feel like you and Katie are the same height. You mean how in our videos, sometimes they have to frame the camera angle around me? No, I mean like in real life, like right now, Katie even looks like a little bigger than you. He looks pretty tall to me. Wait, is Katie taller than Zach? I don't know, let's see. Nope. Well, now, hold on, that doesn't make any sense. Why not? Because Katie was taller than you, but then you were taller than Zach, and now Zach is taller than Katie? And now it looks like you're taller than everyone else. I am taller than everyone. I know that, like I know that objectively, I'm just saying sometimes it looks like you're not. Like, you're way down here now. Maybe it's like a perspective thing. You know, it's like the angle at which you're standing. Maybe? Uh, okay, can we try this? Can, can everyone just move apart from each other? Katie, go move next to Grant. Now Zach. Come on, what the hell? Does this really matter? I mean, who cares how tall Grant is? Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm losing my mind. Oh, you know what? I've been crouching. Uh, let me just stand up. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm also crouching. All right. Oh, me too. Oh, no, 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 stop, stop. What is this? No! No, it's just legs! It's just crazy spider legs! None of this makes any sense! Of course it makes sense. You're looking at it. Grant. How? I don't know. Zach. Son of a bitch! Okay, Trap, you're a little too worked up. We're gonna put you away for the day. What? 
I just don't know what got into him. It's called the Star Spangled Banner, not Osei yeah. Can You See. Oh, no, but really? Where's this... Trap? What? Oh my god, Pat, we thought you were dead. Where's Trap? A at the office. Yeah, man, it's the middle of the workday. Where else would he be? The office. <laughs> So, so then why are you guys here, then? Oh, it's $3 margaritas! I don't have any fingers. <laughs> he is the first president in modern history to have zero political or military experience, and he has no interest in helping the disenfranchise. Ref, how do you feel about this? You must be more concerned than all of us. Yeah, that's a really good question. Well, I mean, obviously I have cause for concern, right? But my parents saw a lot worse, so I still have hope. That is such a positive outlook, but all I feel is outrage. You know, how can we expect to progress as a nation if this is how we're treating our poor? Ugh. Ugh. Right. But, I mean, I'm not poor. Ah! Oh. Oh. oh, no, no, yeah. no, 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 Oh my god, god. that was so rude. No, that's, that's okay. We know we're all rich in our own way. Mm, yes. Rich in love. Mm -hmm. Nope. Rich blood. Nope. Rich in stamps. Nope. See, no, I'm not poor. See, just because I'm black doesn't mean I'm poor. Oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 I'm not racist. Seriously, if anyone's poor, it's me. Exactly. Same, same. You know, we're not here to judge. Yeah. Yeah. We're not here to judge. Uh, pizza's here. Oh, oh. Yes. Nice. so hungry. How do you guys want to pay for this? Split it four ways? Uh, yeah, totally. No, there's five of us, so five ways. No, oh, we know you would pay if you could, Raph. No yeah. need. Yeah. Seriously, dude. Literally. Right. Right. Save that. Like, get a phone card, call home, or whatever. Change? We work the same job. I can't talk to you guys anymore. Hey, Trap. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I only have a dollar. I hope that's okay. God bless. What is wrong with all of you? I'm black, not poor. I have a 401k. Oh. Jeez, how slow is that internet? They only have dial-up. Is it just like how your neighborhood works? I live a block away from you. It's crazy to think how different things can be just a block away. I think we'll find that gentrification is a bigger problem than any of us ever realized. Mm -hmm. yeah, tell me more. Gentrification now. These affluent people are coming in and they're pushing these poor people out of the neighborhood just because they think it's kind of cool taking from these people, these families that you know, no longer like, afford to. I mean, that's the thing about the reality of the situation, which is these families, affluent rich people, people, people just pushing yeah. these poor people, people just pushed out of their own out of homes. The neighborhood. Pizzas. Oh. It's, it's these people who they've been there. You know, years and years. Cheer up, friend. Things are going to turn around. I'm not. Poor. We can all see your toes sticking out of your shoes, dude. These are sandals. Act like you've never seen sandals before. How did you even get in here? I found this key card. <laughs> hey, we don't have to look at that. Forget this, man. I'm going home. Oh. Ooh. This hobo bindle is a very expensive item at Urban Outfitters. Hey, man. Can you lend me a hundred bucks? I'm queer, not rich. thought I was dead, didn't you? Mike Trapshire thought I was. And now I'm heading right for him. In a matter of minutes, I will be... Oh, come on. Really? Really? This traffic is... It's like not even rush hour, and I'm... I have a thing to do, and I want it... It would be so... Go! So... How much will it cost for you to spill all of College Humor's secrets? Give me a number and then we'll talk. I like your style. <laughs> you must not want these secrets. Then make me an offer. You're 
dreaming. Maybe we should just say the number out loud. Nope. This is procedure. This is how it's always done. Do you want to use my pen? I like this pen. Now we're cooking with gas. <sighs> Maybe this will tickle your fancy? <laughs> you, sir, insult me. Do you have another piece of paper? It's just this is getting kind of crowded. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'll look too. Okay. You have anything? No, it's all cash. It's all cash? I feel like we should just say this out loud. No, no. Okay, we're gonna figure this out, okay? Aha! Okay, see? Okay. This is more my style. <sighs> well, that's certainly tempting. But I can't read this. You can't use a fountain pen on receipt paper. It smudges. Damn. This is all I can do. Yes, 100%. I, for sure, we've got a deal. Wait, let me see. <laughs> oh, I see. No, you read it upside down. It's supposed to be this. Why would you put all those zeros in the front? Can we just talk? This whole place I mean, this could be bugged. I have never seen anybody say is... the number out loud when they're making these kind of oh, deals, okay? Fine, it is fine. simply not done. Okay. And that is the kind of standard fine. we are going to uphold fine. here today. Fine! My final offer. Oh! Oh! I have a ring in my neck. Oh. Okay, you should be exercising more. Don't tell me what to do. All I'm saying oh. is, this table didn't get any bigger. Okay, enough! I want secrets, and I want them now. I am willing to offer this entire case full of cash, more than any other offer I put on the table today. So, what do you say? Wait, no, that's expensive. Put that a sharper image. My final offer. Fine, yes, I'll take it, I'll take it. Excellent. Now, give me those secrets. Pat Castles used to work here. What? I know. Trap killed him. What? Looking for a trap? Yeah. Then you might want this. It's one of the finest weapons ever created. A sword with a revolver attached to the end with some rubber bands. It's sharp enough to cut through a tank. And it has like an infinity bullets. The bullets are shotgun shells, except for some that are grenades. You can also take it on a plane. Cool. going on? I've asked you all to meet me here because somebody in this room got me sick. <coughs> <coughs> yes, one of you. <laughs> one of us? Why, that's preposterous. You may not be sick at all. Perhaps you're simply tired or dehydrated. Yes, hydration. It's terribly important. I read an article about it, you know. No, the fact is that I am sick. All the early warning signs are there. Swollen lymph nodes, headaches, scratchy throat. The only people I've been around lately are you. Well, pish posh, why? Uh, maybe it was an accident, or maybe there's just something going around. These things don't just go around. No, someone got me sick, and justice will be done. You, Brennan, you seem quite keen to dismiss this whole thing. Very curious for a man who spent hours breathing in my face on set. <laughs> How dare you, sirrah? I have never been sick a day in my life. Besides, we all know who got you sick. It was Grah. Oh, <gasps> me, sir. Yes, you, sir. Why, we all saw you hacking and wheezing away yesterday. Mm, you misunderstand. <laughs> They were my allergies. Your allergies? And what exactly are you allergic to? Why, everything. 
My constitution is as weak as my arms. Oh, mm. please, they surely can't be that weak. Oh, but they are. On account of my old age. This is a most convincing story. I can see with my own eyes how old and frail this man is. Well, I refuse to believe that it is one of us. I mean, perhaps it was your wife trap or maybe one of those dirty old bus poles. I don't think that. <laughs> Nobody move! Oh, Nobody move! Oh, no. me my lord <laughs> Oh my god. Someone got Brennan sick. It was Jessica. <gasps> Grant, no. I can't be silent any longer. Jessica was tweeting yesterday about vomiting. You were ill. Hmm. Jessica, is this true? No. Was it you? No. Did you get us sick? No. Did you get me sick? No. Did you get no. Sick? No. Were you the I one? did not. I vomited because of a very intense workout, and then I vomited again because I was excited, and then I vomited a third time because I saw the first pile of vomit. I vomit literally all the time. You probably weren't drinking enough water. Water doesn't fix everything. Well, I don't know. If you'd read this article that I'd read, you might be quite convinced. Well, here's the thing, Siobhan. We're not going to read that article anyway. You all seem to be forgetting. There's a monster. Here, a monster in our midst, a monster named Rat. Oh, me? Why, I didn't even come into the office yesterday. No, you weren't in the office, were you, Raph? And why was that? Well, I took a personal day. Can't I take a personal day? You can take a personal day, Raph, but I have seen the personnel calendar and I know for a fact you took a sick day. <gasps> no! Yes, it's right here, plain as paper. Now, why would you lie about that? Why would you try to hide it? I'll tell you why. It's because you're guilty. You got me sick. You got Brennan sick. Blammo! Blammo, I say to you. Case closed. Okay. I took a sick day. Yeah. Yeah, no! But I wasn't actually sick. I was hungover. Wednesday. Don't judge me. Well, I hope you drank plenty of fluids. God damn it, Siobhan. If you bring up this water theory one more time, I'm going to lose it. Oh, here's the sticky wicket of it all. Though, if it wasn't Raphael, then who in the blazes was it? Who indeed? This is a most twisted case. Not Brennan, who got sick in this very room. Not Raph or Grant or Jessica, whose ailments were not contagious. Which can only mean... Hello? Slap my tit! It's Siobhan! <gasps> yeah. Oh. Yes, thank you, Colonel. Wow, what would I do without you? But it can't be me. I've been drinking simply bucket loads of water. <laughs> my God, Siobhan. <laughs> There's no crime so low as getting another sick. No <laughs> victim more undeserving than I. Didn't you kill Pat? Allegedly. That's not what we want to hear. Rumors, 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 rumors. rumors. We're asking. In the eyes of the court, in the eyes of America, we, I definitely did not kill Pat. Oh, oh, yes. 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 Congratulations, everyone, on your first day here at Chomsky's. <laughs> Let's get things started with a round of introductions. My name is Bamantha, and I'm the Chomsky's hiring manager. I'm Pat. I'm going to be head of customer service. OK, next. Hi, I'm Johnny Leatherbaby, head of public relations. Um, sorry, Bamantha, this is probably totally inappropriate, but Johnny just looked so familiar. He's the guy that started the Deport the Browns website that everyone thought was about deporting the Cleveland Browns, but was actually about deporting brown people. Oh my god. How did you figure that out? Are you some sort of tech mastermind? What? No, I just Googled it. Did you not do a background check before you hired him? Oh, we did, but no criminal record came up, so we thought, <laughs> Well, maybe technically nothing was flagged, but I do think somebody's prejudices should absolutely be taken into account during the hiring process, especially in a forward-facing position like PR. Ah, uh, yes, you are so right. Next time we hire someone, we're getting your tech expertise. I just Googled it. Johnny, I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to go down to HR for a little chat. You know, it just I'm pushing boundaries, and it's just like, I, ew, I'm sorry, is there no safe space to try stuff out? Like, does people, people don't even know what jokes are. Do you understand? I'm joking. Do you know what a joke is? Okay, now let's keep it rolling with these introductions. Ha, <laughs> who's next? I am Smurp. I come from the land of shadows and evil. Oh, and my cousin went to college there. I'm here at Chomsky's to be the new 
social media manager. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we need one of those, yes. Samantha, I'm looking at Smurf's Twitter and he actually led the Translucent Souls Matter March in South Carolina last year. Oh my God. Yeah. How are you digging this stuff up? You are a technological wonder kid, okay? Are you with the CIA? No, I just Googled it. I mean, seriously. I mean, we knew that Smurf didn't list the proper years he lived at his previous address. My bad. That was your bad, Smurf. That's one of the worst things anyone that we've ever hired has done here. But you, what are your tech secrets? Can you reveal them? I Googled him and then his Twitter came up and then I read the first three tweets I saw. Wow, I only read the pinned tweet. Really? He's gonna be the new social media manager. Smurp, I'm so sorry, but we're gonna have to let you go. This is a disgrace. But at least I have a very generous severance package. You see that? I fired him. Yeah, the, uh, that's the bare minimum. And I love that. That's actually incredible. So now, I know we have one more new hire. Introduce yourself. I'm Martin, and I'm the new spokesperson for Chomsky's. Bet we're gonna be seeing a lot of you. Okay, that's Martin Shkreli? Yeah, I am. That's the guy that raised the price of AIDS medication by 5,000%. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> oh my god. Pat! 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 you on the JFK case. We're gonna get you on the Zodiac case. The way your mind works, the technology you know no, how to use. I, I, that's Martin Shkreli. Everybody knows who Martin Shkreli is. I didn't even have to look him up. Besides, he's drinking out of a mug that has his name on it and his crime. <laughs> he admitted to it. Did you even look into these people for one second before you hired them? Pat, we don't really have the detective re skills that it. you have. It was just I don't really have access All to it was the was a technology search. I just that you literally have. Googled it on literally the Literally for our you company. Have a to have Google the infrastructure. I just typed in G-O-O-G-L-E dot C-O-M and then I, it was there. I, mean, I, I just Googled it! Well, I guess we're at a standstill because we don't have as advanced of technology as Pat here does. I am so sorry to say, Martin, I'm gonna need to show you to the HR office. Oh. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, company policy. The line's gonna be extra long today, too. Oh. Oh, come on. No, get off me. I guess it's a good thing she didn't Google me. <laughs> <laughs>